I'm giving them some good guidance. As a matter of fact, they're at a little uh, Republican camp right now. Oh, it's a great little place. And, and if you haven't sent your kids there, I suggest you do because they learn all kinds of stuff. I mean, I mean, let me just read some of the things they learn. I mean, they learn how to make a dry martini. They learn how to fix elections, how to wiretap a hotel room, how to blame things on others, how to get into an Ivy League school on a C average. I mean, that's great in itself. I mean, they learn all kinds of stuff. They learn how to style a political haircut. You know, how to make a minority feel special. Hey, uh, Stu, love your show. I, uh, I just have a comment right now. Used to be a big fan of the Republicans. I was one myself, and then the play came, and I gotta be honest with you, I think the Republicans dropped the ball. I really think they just dropped the ball. They kind of all went home to their big, nice houses, and now it's our problem. Let me tell you something, my friend. First of all, you made your first mistake by saying you used to be a Republican. That is a stupid thing. You should continue to be a Republican. Now, let me tell you something. I get a lot of people hear a lot of flack about why the Republicans haven't done anything since the plague. When you work as hard as the Republicans do, your immune system is not up for the challenge, my friend. If you look back at your periodicals, most of the Republicans died when the plague happened. There was a few that were able to make it to a bunker, and they haven't come out. They're still working for you, but they're working behind doors. You can't go out and shake hands with the people, because if you shake hands with the people, chances are your hand's going to fall off from the plague. If you want to continue to work for the people, you're going to isolate yourself and try to continue to work for them. Okay, Stu, I understand what you're saying, but do you really, truly believe in your heart that when the Republicans come out of this secretive bunker that they'll even be voted into office? Do you really think that we can get a Republican in office right now? Are you kidding? They are still in office, my friend. What you do not realize, they're still working for us, and they're not getting paid as much as they used to. That's how dedicated they are. They took a pay cut five years ago just to help out because there weren't as many people to pay them because of the large body count the plague took. You know, Stu, I disagree with you. I think a lot of people are going to go Democrat or liberal. I also know there are some grassroots parties rising up, and I know some of the nomads are forming a party. Well, let me tell you something. If you're a nomad or Democrat or whatever, why don't you take your happy butt over to Blister Canyon and make it their problem? Make that your little liberal hoo-ha paradise. You know, I think you should read a book called Liberal and So Am I. I think it would really open your eyes because the Liberal Party is one of the best parties ever invented. It's for everyone. It's an every man campaign this year. The best thing you could do with liberal am I is to use that to wipe your butt, my friend, because that is the biggest bunch of junk I've ever seen in my life. That is one of the worst books, and I know the guy that wrote it. And let me tell you something. He just wrote it for the money, my friend. He's a Republican. He just did it to start some crap. And let me tell you, he did. You know what? I think the voters will show you just how wrong you are coming up in the next campaign. Oh, I can't wait to see it, my friend. And I tell you what, will you come up here and eat that book if you're wrong? Okay, Stu. Oh, I can't wait to see that. That's going to be great because, my friend, you might as well starve yourself a little bit because you're going to have to work up an appetite to get through Chapter 5, all right? Well, that's a bet. I'll be up there anytime, any day. I am so tired of these liberal hoo-hahs calling me and telling me what Republicans are not doing for them. The Republicans work hard for you, my friends. So many died that day so many years ago, and people are not remembering. And they should remember all of those fallen Republicans, those good Americans that tried as hard as they could to work for you. And now you're besmirching them by not remembering them. Let's have a moment just to remember all those fallen leaders that helped us so much. You're listening to The Stu Pickle Show.